what does it mean to be British? Most of us live our whole lives in Britain and yet many of us struggle to define Britishness. We're tired of the same old cliches. Love them or hate them, we need to redefine them. At Great Sankey High School, we set out to redefine what being British means to us. To the students in school. To the wider community. To the people in power. To those who want to be in power. See if you agree. Democracy is a very important British value. At Great Sankey High School, students from each house and year get to have their say in the student council so that everybody gets a voice. Our system of democracy uh, is a parliamentary democracy, which is every part of the country elects an MP, and that MP, he or she, goes down to Westminster and, and has a say in looking after how the government works and also uh, passing laws. And because everybody has a say in passing laws, we make sure they're fair. And that's the reason that people can live under the rule of law in a way that is fair and, and generally agreed. I think democracy is fundamental to our identity as, as British people. Uh, Britain uh, arguably is the first country in the world that really embraced uh, democracy. Um, not just the right to, to vote, um, but the broader set of rights and responsibilities that go along with, 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 with democracy uh, around, the, around the rule of law, around freedom under the law, the law freedom of association, freedom of expression, freedom of, of conscience. Um, and I think that's been a hugely important part of our identity as a country. It's been uh, a constitutional monarchy ruled by democratic governments governments uh, almost uh, since time immemorial and particularly this year with the anniversary of, of Magna Carta that uh, Britishness is all linked up to that. It's to freedom of expression, to um, equality of everybody uh, uh, be, uh, under the law, uh, up to and including the, uh, the monarch. Uh, that uh, nobody is above the law and when you look at the, the way that uh, people have to live in, uh, in other countries with, uh, with monarchies and without the democracy that, that we enjoy and, and, uh, and sadly very often take for granted, uh, that doesn't exist in lots of other countries where say the wrong thing and you can be thrown into prison or uh, look the wrong way and you can be persecuted just for having the wrong political views and the, uh, uh, the fact that Britishness is, uh, is, is part of that, that liberty to be able to, uh, to have freedom of political expression and freedom of, of religion is, uh, is one of the things that makes this country unique. Being British means respecting each other's beliefs. We are not all the same, so I am proud that we celebrate our differences. I think there are really important values that underlie British society and that bring our society together that shows how we function the tolerance for other people, respect for the law, the idea that you, you, that you live within the law rather than being coerced by the police. Democracy is absolutely fundamental to us. The rule of law itself, so that even the people in government are ultimately subject to the law. David Cameron, the Prime Minister, can do nothing to raise his own salary, for example. He can't even steal a paperclip without it being a criminal offence, which is very different to the way that many other societies function. Tolerance, the idea that you can have whatever religious views that you want and are free to practice them as long as they don't impinge on other people. Those are all fundamental values in our society. I think to a certain extent the values that we hold to be uh, British values are also very often basic human values. Um, from my perspective, very often Christian values, but values that we can all share, whether we're Christians or whether we are people of another faith or of no faith at all. For me, a Britishness is about the shared values that we have, which is tolerance, uh, living together under the rule of law, uh, and a democratic process. What annoys me, peculiarly enough, is when people talk about these values as if they were distinctively British, because that is simply not true. The values that I've outlined would apply equally in the United States of America, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, and in many other countries in the world. Sadly, not universally yet, although I would like them to be universal, because I regard these as universal human values. And they're also the values that inspire me as a Muslim, because I see them as fundamental Islamic values as well. Being, being British is, 
is is part of my a major part of my, of my upbringing to uh, to value the things that this country has always rep represented the uh, freedom of speech uh, and, uh, and freedom of, of religion, which is one of the things that uh, that brought. Um, uh, Jewish people here hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The fact that they realized that there were only, uh, at times of terrible Jewish persecution, that there were only two places in the world where uh, you could live a free life as an equal citizen, and that's part of what Britishness is. What are those values? Well, I think the values of tolerance, values uh, about uh, loving our neighbor and getting along with one another, values to do with justice and fairness and free speech and freedom of expression and freedom of worship. I think for me the, the key elements of Britishness are uh, freedom and that sense of, of, of liberty under the, under the rule of law. Uh, that's really important, that's the most fundamental thing. I think it's about uh, tolerance and respect for, for others. There are fundamental values which you have to live by to be part of this society in terms of respecting other people tolerance, freedom of speech, obeying the law, the law applies to everybody, which if you don't accept those values, really you can't fit into our society at all, any more than you could fit into American, Canadian, British or New Zealand societies, for example. But those things that make us distinctively British, as opposed to these other countries, those are actually very subtle. Being British means that we have a fair system of law and order. You are innocent until proven guilty. The British Police Service has changed a lot over the years. Uh, so Robert Peel's principle of law enforcement is still vital today. One of these principles is that the police are the public and the public are the police. Now this basically means that we need a relationship with the public and working with them is vital to us. In other countries, they don't have that f friendly face, if you like, in the community. The police community support officers are important for that because we walk around the community, engage with the public, go into the schools and the visits where in other countries they don't have that, it's more the police service there just for when you've done something wrong and not to engage. We celebrate our sporting success and have a history of ex sporting excellence. Britain hosted tw the 2012 Olympics and is home to Lords, Twickenham, Anfield, Wimbledon and Old Trafford. I think football and sports in general is a big part of the British culture and it's a proud culture and it's something that I think everyone, in, in all walks of life, we've all got an affinity to some sort of sport, and I think that comes to me as a lot of Britishness. I would say that Britain is about institutions. Some of them have lasted uh, hundreds of years, like our legal system um, and the fairness that that brings, but also more recent institutions that make us unique, uh, like the NHS, and, and also like the BBC and the way that uh, schools work together as well. It's community, isn't it? It's community. And yeah, that, that's an institution in itself, being in a community. Football clubs are built on communities, rugby clubs. And I think that's, that's what we are based on. I mean, it's, it's, it's something to be proud of. Good neighbourliness uh, and that sense of community. That Britain is made up of uh, a mass of different uh, villages and neighbourhoods and towns and, and, and cities that all have their own proud identities like, like Warrington. Uh, does um, and that sort of rub along well together uh, and interact with each other. Um, so I think that mixture of sort of very local uh, and national pride uh, is also a big part of British identity. Lots of things uh, make, make, make us all proud to be British. We live in a country that works well. As I said, we're tolerant. Uh, we have a lot of time for each other and we have many, many different cultures and types of people, types of skills uh, that have come together into our country to make it work. I, I'm proud to be British because of everything that this country has, uh, has, has achieved over, over, over its history. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that we, uh, amongst other things, we live in a constitutional monarchy. I'm, I'm a, a convinced and, conv uh, and, and devoted monarchist. Um, I think that the, the royal family have served this country incredibly well uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years. And a royal family and things like that, you know, it's, there's nothing, I mean, there's a lot of doubters about that, there's pros and cons to it, but it's something to be proud of. Being British means being proud, proud of our achievements. We have 77 Nobel Prizes for Science and Technology and an international reputation for innovation.
of the greatest music in the world comes from Britain, from the Beatles to Blur, Oasis to the Spice Girls, take that to Sam Smith. They were all inspired by living in Great Britain. More than half the world's children study Shakespeare. British literature is known all around the world with authors such as Jane Austen, Lewis Carroll, Roald Dahl and J.K. Rowling. They are all British. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video. For me, Britishness is summed up very easily. It's wrapped up in honesty, decency and being a member of a community whether that's a community in our school, in our town or our country. But for me, Britishness is about being fair, being honest and treating everybody as we would want to be treated. Thank you.